Let's, uh, let's continue talking about well, elliptic, elliptic curves, uh, GNUPG 2.1 and GNUP token. Thank you very much. Nive again. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. This time, uh, perhaps I, I actually, honestly speaking, I don't know uh, if it is better to introduce ECC. But uh, I think that it is good thing now because the migration takes time. So suppose that you, you will realize two years later uh, uh, it, it should be done before, then, then it, it would be too late. So having a ECC key is easy now because GPG 2.1 is default in, in stretch. So why not use ECC keys today? That's my message in this presentation. So the, among many new features, uh, ECC elliptic curve cryptography is available as a new algorithm for public key crypto of OpenPGP. <laughs> and the uh, benefit is that key size for equivalent crypto strength is smaller. So, and uh, because key size is smaller, the, uh, it is somehow uh, friendly to the, our environment. It doesn't consume much, much energy. <laughs> <laughs> so, personally, I still care such uh, energy consumption things. Yes. So it is easy to have longer key size, 4096 RSA or even 8592 bit of RSA. But uh, please care about your power consumption too. Computer power is nowadays easier to get, but uh, still we live on this earth. Please remember. And uh, ECC is new, but please note that it's not post quantum crypto. So it can be broken by Schwarz algorithm. I mean that uh, if quantum computer will be ready, uh, it will be broken just like RSA or DSA. And uh, in GPG 2.1, we have two different set of algorithms. One is, I call it classic ECC, which is defined by some standard organizations like NIST, of the United States, and we have a newer, modern ECC, uh, which uses safe cards. Uh, in GPG 2.1, we have we support those cards, uh, three of three cards defined by NIST. And the uh, brain pool is, I think that it's a German thing. A uh, German standardized organization defined those cards. And the uh, SecP256 K1 is, as you may know that, it's Satoshi's choice. I mean, Bitcoin. Uh, and uh, I think that 
it's somehow intentional uh, hack by Satoshi. Because the classic ECC has an issue, uh, nobody knows if it has, uh, I mean, the standardization process was ex exploited or not. So, so I think that it, it, it was Satoshi's decision avoiding NIST curves. Yes, and uh, but uh, every uh, all of those curves comes with a very annoying feature. It is too difficult for developers to implement correctly. So modern ECC, in, on the other hand, modern ECC is easier to implement. And uh, uh, currently, GNU PG 2.1 support ED25519 for digital signature and X25519 for encryption and decryption. So, uh, actually, the, I, in libgcrypt, I have implemented Satoshi's choice and then I implemented X2519 X uh, decryption. And uh, my message today is that let's start using ED25519, modern ECC. Uh, here is the, the number in the KSP DevConf 17 document. We have 142 participants. I mean, uh, it's killing list. Only four people have a uh, ED25519 keys. I think that uh, I, I actually I had expected more, but uh, only four persons have new ECC keys. So let's let's start using. So, because we know migration will take time. You know that it was about three years ago we released GPG 2.1, but it takes more than two years. Uh, the deployment takes time. So the question is that when should we? My answer is why not try something new today? <laughs> So, perhaps you need some reason. We have two good reasons. GNUK, my project for security token, uh, support modern ECC. It's way faster than RSA. Uh, even for 72 megahertz MCU, it just a 0.1 second for digital signature generation and uh, 0.2 second for decryption. And uh, it is designed by the many experience. Because of that, it's much safer against side channel attacks. And uh, OpenSSH. Uh, already support ED25519 authentication. So it's very good. We don't need to fix many things. We, uh, it is supported already. And if you care about uh, how private key uh, is handled, I would recommend GNUK token, which support uh, modern ECC. So, tomorrow, 10 a.m., I will have a GNUG buff at UD. Uh, and the, the GNUG is the free software which implements the security token. Yes. And the 
we still have issues of the uh, Yes, we are still in the process of the migration. And uh, unfortunately, it is not yet standardized. But Vana uh, wrote a new RF to be RFC, uh, the update of the RFC. ED25519 is defined in that document. But X25519 support of open PGP is not yet included even in that draft. But fortunately, last year Christian was kind enough to support ED25519 and the X25519 keys already. So uh, this is a tip. Uh, please use that subset of the SKS key servers to retrieve or uh, to send uh, modern ECC keys. The, it is unfortunate that the other key servers don't support ECC at all, only support DSA and RSA. And the uh, web of trust SAP, I forgot uh, what means SAP. The, the, the software which draw the graph uh, does not yet support ECC keys. And uh, for Debian developer like me, uh, the, it is unfortunate, Alios doesn't allow, allow ED. 25590 keys yet for, for SSH. But it will be soon uh, improved. So here I here is a how to uh, how to generate ED uh, modern ECC keys. Uh, three stage preparation key generation and uh, adding sub-key for SSH. So, uh, it would be good to create, uh, uh, to test a new technology uh, with different directory setting. So, here is the, here is the session. The making the directly, temporarily new GCC, uh, GPG ECC, and uh, we set the uh, environment variable when a PG home, then we change the permission, and please check the GPG version. The GPG 1.4 doesn't support ECC at all. Uh, GPG 2.1 support ECC ECC, including classic one and modern ones. And the uh, key generation, it's somehow complicated. You need expert option. Yes, this is the tip. And uh, just select by number nine, ECC and ECC. It means that ECC signing key and the ECC decryption key. And select one for curve 25519 to use ED25519 or X25519. It is somehow confusing. The curve name itself is curve 25519. The protocol name is ED25519 for digital signature and X25519 for, for encryption. But the uh, selection in the, in the introduction, we select CAB25519. 
Then next thing is、uh, adding key, adding sub key for authentication,、uh, which is used for SSH. And、uh, here is the session. The, the command line, we need, you need a hyphen hyphen expert option. Yes. Chuji、uh, is、uh, the, the example. It, it is a username or a fingerprint. Then you invoke the subcommand up key. Then select number 11, adding authentication sub key for SSH. And then you toggle capability to authenticate only. To do so, A return, S return, and Q for quit. Then select one for CAP25519. Uh, to use ED25519 and type save to save new subject. That's the interaction, that, that's a command line interaction. So let's see the preparation, let's see again the preparation and key generation and adding key. Three steps. Let's do that today or tomorrow, or、uh, let's do that today or、uh, this week. And when you, you, when you will encounter any problem, troubles, please ask me any help. I will do my best to help you to generate modern ECC keys. Yes. So that's all. And, uh, and uh, this is my question to Debian. Can I ask putting my modern ECC key to Debian keyring? I should ask to Nudo, perhaps. Key. No, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. <laughs> But、uh, it will be. It's, it's in the work,、uh, in the works because parts of the infrastructure is still running with uh -huh, uh -huh. Pre -st uh, with old、uh -huh. stable. Until everything is running on stable,、uh -huh. it will not be. Uh huh. But uh, that's a migration. <laughs> so that's my presentation. Thank you. Is there an advantage to creating a new key instead of using sub keys to an existing RSA key? Ah,、uh, yes, it is possible. You can, you can add a modern ECC key as a sub key or other way around. You can have a modern ECC、uh, key and、uh, you can add a RSA sub key. Yes. Right, but is there an advantage to using a new key instead of using the old key with the sub key?、Um, it depends. I usually recommend having an independent,、uh, independent key for new algorithm. But if you, it is, if you only use ECC authentication key, you can just add a authentication sub key of Modern ECC. Yes.、Uh, actually, I have a question to Nodo.、Mm -hmm. um, is that only block issue of using ED25519 is the alias?、Uh, I, I don't really know. I, I understand that、uh, several pieces in Debian uh, use. Uh, I mean, Say,、uh, Kurt will know if the body would accept you,、uh, your vote if it was casted with、uh, that. Because, uh, or uh, the, the FTP masters will be able to tell you if the DAC will accept a signature made with a new r key. So,、uh, I don't know. I mean, for me, the keyring is something of, it's just a file where I push information to. I don't care. I can push rubbish. But、uh, you don't want that to happen. <laughs> Uh, I, I wanted to relay a question I got、uh, on IRC from、mm -hmm. uh, Daniel Kahn、mm -hmm. from DKG.、Mm -hmm. he's, uh, he's asking, DKG wants to know whether you have any GNUC devices with you that people could buy if they wanted. Yes, sure. 
So uh, consider this an advertis uh, advertisement. Uh, uh -huh. uh, it's yes. a very good way to, 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 to do crypto and please uh, you can give yes. some more information. GNUC is a USB security open implementation and uh, actually the, it has been a long way and uh, to enable such a free software, 100% free software security token. And uh, I did uh, design a reference hardware that is called FST01, and uh, I, I bring the FST01, the, the hardware, uh, so you can buy the hardware from me in this week, yes. And, uh, and uh, the firmware, uh, as a factory firmware, it is, I, I wrote the random number generator firmware. So we need to update the firmware. And in this week, I, I can do that on behalf of you. The, he, here, the, the important thing is that such a security device can be honeypot. You see? I mean that uh, you need to uh, care about the supply chain or something. Uh, I mean that uh, if you cannot believe me, you should not buy uh, from me. <laughs> I mean that I would install backdoor. I I could do that. So the the if you care about your own computing freedom, you need you need care the how firmware is written to that particular device. The source code availability is only a single factor. Uh, someone can. Uh, maliciously replace the farming. So we need to care many attacks, such attacks. So and, uh, for, for my device, it, the hardware design is available as a free design. So anybody can rep rep replicate his own hardware. And the source code of the <coughs> farming is available. So usually I, I recommend to build the firmware by yourself with your own GNU toolchain and install yourself. But uh, in this case, I will do that uh, on behalf of you, if you can trust me. <laughs> you see? <laughs> okay. uh, we're uh, over time. Uh, oh. So, well, uh, I'm sorry to cut the session, uh, but we, we have to comply with the time. Uh, there's, a, there's a preparation for the big dinner we're going to get, so, well, thank you very much.